We want to use a ratio test to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. To apply the ratio test where we have the summation of a sub n, we take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n, which equals L. If L is less than one, then the infinite series converges. If L is greater than one, then the infinite series diverges. And if L equals one, the test fails, we have to apply a different test. And the ratio test is often helpful when this series involves exponentials or factorials. So going back to our example, notice that a sub n would be equal to the quantity n plus six divided by two raised to the power of two n plus four. So notice how our series involves an exponential in the denominator. And now notice that a sub n plus one would be equal to n plus one plus six, that would be n plus seven, divided by, let's show some work here in the denominator. If we have two and raise it to the power of two times the quantity n plus one plus four, notice how this would be equal to two raised to the power of two n plus two plus four, or two raised to the power of two n plus six. So for a sub n plus one, the denominator is two raised to the power of two n plus six. And now we'll find the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n. Instead of dividing by a sub n though, we'll multiply by the reciprocal instead. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of, again, a sub n plus one, and then times the reciprocal of a sub n, which would be two raised to the power of two n plus four divided by n plus six. Looking at the two terms with base two, notice how here we have two n plus four factors of two, and here we have two n plus six factors of two. So we have two more factors of two in the denominator, and therefore this would simplify to one, this would simplify to two squared, or four. If we want to show a little more work here, if we have two raised to the power of two n plus four, and we divide this by two raised to the power of two n plus six, we would subtract the exponents, which would give us two, raise the power of the quantity two n plus four minus the quantity two n plus six. So this will give us two raise the power of, we have two n minus two n, that's zero. Four minus six is negative two. Two to the negative two is one over two squared, or one fourth. So notice how the result is two factors of two in the denominator. Notice how we cannot simplify these factors of n because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. Which means the simplified limit would be the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of the quantity n plus seven divided by, our denominator would be two squared times the quantity n plus six or four times the quantity n plus six. For one or two, we could distribute here in the denominator and write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of the quantity n plus seven divided by the quantity four n plus twenty-four. Notice here, to determine the limit, notice how the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. They're both one. So the limit as n approaches infinity would be equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which in this case would be one over four or one fourth. So because this limit is equal to one fourth, by the ratio test, since the limit is less than one, the infinite series converges. So for the second part, we're asked to determine the limit to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. So we'll say by the ratio test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n equals one fourth, which is less than one, the series converges. 
So there were two parts to this question. The first part was to determine the simplified limit, which would be the limit in this form or this form. And then since the limit is equal to one-fourth by the ratio test, the infinite series converges. I hope you found this helpful.